Hi everybody, welcome back to Auditorium 101. I'm Mr. L, and today we're going to talk about three items. The first item we're going to talk about is proper microphone setup. The second item we're going to talk about is using the lighting board and its different functions. Welcome back to Auditorium 101. Okay, we are now going to talk about the Leviton Piccolo 36 lighting board. Um, this is the board itself, uh, and we're going to first talk about how to try to turn it on. Uh, so I have the screwdriver here, and I'm going to attempt to put this somewhere, but I can't really... I don't know, there's a lot of lights and switches, and it's complicated, so if you don't really know how to turn this on, you're going to start pushing knobs and hitting buttons and it's just going to be confusing. And you know, there's really no key ignition spot for it. So if you pay attention to this video, I'll show you a really cool trick to turn it on. When turning on the board, you first want to make sure all of the dials and all the sliders and buttons are down to their off position. After that's done, you're going to go to the back of the board and you're going to find the power on switch and you're going to turn it to the on position. Once that happens, you'll see that the uh, lighting board lights up and the on-screen uh, monitor turns on, as well as our monitor that is not on the board, our external monitor. Once the board is on, we now have to get the board to respond to the lights. All of the faders should be in the down position. The proper way to get the lights to respond to the faders is to move the individual faders up and down two times. Once we do that, for each of the faders, the lights should respond. The top row on the lighting board control individual lights. So, for instance, if you take a look, we have, in the first row, we have 1 through 36. If I hit the channel button, the green light by number one shifts down. So now we have, now the top row acts as 37 through 72. If I click the channel button again, we switch channels for the top row again from 73 to 108. If I do it another time, we switch channels again and the faders on the top row act as if they are 109 through 144. If I, if I hit the channel button one more time, we reset to channel 1 through 36. The bottom row of faders is what we call submasters. These are a mix of different lights that we can tell the board to control at the same time. All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, as you see, uh, today is Casual Friday, and uh, I have changed my clothes from yesterday, uh, and that's why I'm in a different outfit. So um, today, we're going into learning how to make a submaster. And what a submaster is, it's taking individual lights and putting them on a fader down on the bottom row that controls multiple lights. So remember, last time we talked about the top row, the top row is only controlling individual lights. The bottom is, con uh, is made up of all submasters. And the submaster again is a combination of multiple lights on one fader. The first step of making a submaster is determining what lights you'd like to use on the top row. So I'm going to make a purple submaster. So I'm going to combine all of my blue and red lights. So I'm going to go up to my top row up here. I'm going to locate all of my blue and red lights, and I'm going to put them to full. Here we go. Here's red, red, blue, blue, red, red, blue, blue. And I'm gonna take a look at the stage to make sure it's, it looks exactly how I want it to. 
And as soon as I have the individual lights set the way I want it, as soon as I have the individual lights set the way I want them to be, I'm going to hit load on the board, which is located right over here. And then I'm going to find the submaster that's already cleared on the bottom. And you'll know it's cleared because there is no light lit up on the bump button. So I'm going to go and find a cleared fader. I'm gonna find the bump button on top and I've already pressed load. So now I'm going to select the bump button that I would like the submaster to be present on. As soon as I click that button, as soon as I click that button, I am going to dump the rest of the faders on the top row to ensure when I operate the fader on the bottom, the submaster that I just created, it will work. And as I test it, I have successfully created a submaster.